Lord, we just thank you. We just love you. Lord, we love you because you first loved us. An undying love. An unconditional love. An agape love. Lord, we just thank you for that love that was demonstrated yet yeah, while we were sinners, you died for us. Lord, we pray right now that the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart will be acceptable in your sight. For Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. Saints of God, say amen. Everybody get, come on in and get situated. Uh, I don't plan to be very long. I'm not feeling it. It's an inside joke. There's just some things that can't be done in two minutes. So, so but yeah, I'm going to try to just 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 talk a little bit and just share yes, with you yes, my heart. And and one of the dangers I feel as a Christian, as as a preacher, pastor, I wanna I wanna be clear about something first of all. First of all, whenever I, I preach or teach a, a lesson, um, it it's for me. Yes. It's for me. It's for me. It, it, it includes me. It's not like I'm I'm talking to you. I'm talking to to me. Yes, to me. Uh, uh, so I, I realize that God is speaking. Everything all right, Sister Gary? She walking out of that. She was mad. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. You may want to check on her. You know, uh, is she good? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I, I want to make sure that that y'all understand that the lesson is for me. It's not for y'all. It, 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 it's for me. And then, I, I, as Christians, I want to make sure that we're not guilty of the fact that that when you hear the message, it's for them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's for them, and not for 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 you or for us. Um, that, that that's a that's a huge danger. That's a danger that, that you can easily fall into as you grow uh, spiritually. You know, because I believe that I'm already off my lesson, but, but I believe that that's the problem. That what happens is that that you know you get saved and you get a little um, a little discipleship under you, yeah, and yeah. then you start looking at other folk. Yeah. 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 You know, you, you look at you know you look at them, and and really becoming somewhat judgmental. You know, you know, you like I just cannot understand why he can't pull his pants up. <laughs> now, now, you know, you may feel that way. You may feel that way. You know, but 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 if they really were to pull back the covers of your life, they could say, I can't understand why 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 she can't stop lying. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. Uh, why she can't why he can't stop judging. Yeah, yeah. So, so when, I, when, we, when we look at the text, we look at the scriptures, we don't look uh, for others. We look for ourselves because the word of God is supposed to be a mirror and not a window. Amen. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Uh, in your Bibles, uh, and that's not this lesson in particular, this lesson generally speaking, that's how we want to look at God's word. First uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 13. Take your time and find it. Uh, yeah, I'll pray for Sister Smith. She can't. She can't get over here, boy. Right? It, it's all right. You know, don't don't get upset. Don't get upset. You know, uh, First Corinthians chapter thirteen. She back there. She hotter than fish fish right now. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. I'm going to make it funny right there. You know, you used to get mad at Sean when he got mad. Now you make that get mad. <laughs> got that spirit of Sean all over you. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 13. When you find a stand to your feet, if you're able to stand, if you can't understand. But First Corinthians chapter 13. And beginning at, um, if you don't have a Bible, someone will share with you that Bible. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Uh, Paul writes this letter to the church of Corinth. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy 
and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I have all faith, so that I could remove mount, could move mountains, remove mountains, but not have love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. It is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and then we'll stop with love never fails. Amen. Let's talk about love. Love is a, is a term that we use pretty loosely uh, nowadays. It's amazing the things that we say we love. You know, I love basketball. I love football. I love peach cobbler. I love banana pudding. I love pound cake. These are all just suggestions, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you know. I, I, you know, I love that car, I love that house, you know. And then we'll come back and say, I love you. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's just really interesting that, that you would you would put a human being that you you would share your life with or some type of relationship with in the same category as peach cobbler, yeah, yeah. banana pudding, <laughs> pound cake. Okay, let me make eye contact. Somebody didn't make eye contact with me. Uh, okay, uh, 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 listen, uh, 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 even chocolate cake, whatever it is, we'll, we'll say that we love these things. So, so evidently, we must have a misunderstanding of what love okay. Yeah. Okay. really is. <clears throat> you know, you know. Um, um, I think uh, yeah, I can get in trouble here, but but I think that that through life. Many times, what we've expressed as love is really not love. Uh -huh. I see. And any one of us at any time could have been guilty of doing that. That's right. Mm -hmm. But when we really come to grips and understand what the Word of God means when it says love, I think we'll have a better understanding and we're better to express love. Now, now, the love we're talking about right now and this scripture is an unconditional love. Yeah. It's known as agape love. A-G-A-P-E. Agape love, which means unconditional love. I love you unconditionally. And, and, and to be honest with you, that's the type of love God has called us as believers to have, not only for one another, but for the world as a whole. Yeah. I love you, unconditional love. Listen, people have people have been guilty of expressing or, or defining love in a feeling. Mm -hmm. You know that 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 thing that makes your hands palms sweaty. You know uh, that must be love. You know. But, but my palms would get sweaty when I knew my mama was coming home with a belt. All right. <laughs> you know, and I knew that on the other end of that belt was my behind. <laughs> you know, is that love? Is that a feeling? No, 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 that's something else. So, so we describe it with all kind of things, but the reality of it is the Word of God does tell us what love is. And if you were to go to, let's go to 1 John chapter 4. First John chapter four. And I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna say comment just try to teach a little bit. 
First John chapter four and verse eight. First John chapter four and verse eight. Are y'all there? It's not, it's not the gospel of John. It's the John in the back of the Bible. You got Revelation, Jude, Third John, Second John, First John. First John chapter four verse eight. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Amen. And you know, it doesn't take a, a, a you, know, you don't have to be a great theologian to, to figure out what that text is saying. What it's basically saying is to do is the fact that if a person does not know God, it's impossible for them to love. Yes. 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 Now they, they they may like real heavy. <laughs> But they can't have that unconditional love. I mean, you don't, have, you don't like it because you know, I know you, 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 we have all friends and people we know that, well, no, no, I know you really, well, not that unconditional love. And, and if I believe what the Word of God says, that's what the Word of God says. It says that he who does not love does not know God, yeah. for God is love. He's love. And, 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 and so, so, so the very essence of who God is, is love. So when we come to grips and come to an understanding of God and we get to know him better, we'll understand him better and therefore it will cause us to love. Whenever I find myself being extremely critical, it's because I'm showing a lack of maturity of God and knowing God. That's, that's just it, it doesn't get, get heavy. You know, the, 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 the reality of it is that, you know, as we grow and mature in the faith, what should be happening to us as we're growing and maturing in our faith is the fact that we should become a whole lot easier on other people mm-hmm. and a whole lot harder on ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, what, what, what happens is as I grow in my faith, you know, it's hard for me, Joel, to look at you with a critical eye because I'm examining myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. And that's a, a pretty immature place to be if you cannot take time to examine yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, uh, when, when you go from job to job to job to job, and you find that on every one of those jobs that the people are just messy. <laughs> there could be an indication. <laughs> there could be this indication that it could be you. Now listen, let's go back and look at the text. And I'm just gonna unwrap this thing right oh. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but not have it, but have not love, I have become sounding brass and clinging symbols. What Paul is making reference to is the spiritual gift of speaking in tongues. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a gift. It's a spiritual gift. There's a gift of, of, of speaking in tongues. Listen. And so Paul's saying that, listen, you're going around speaking in tongues, you know, you, 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 you know, and doing all this, you're trying to show people how holy you are. Yeah. But yet you don't have love in your heart. All right. All right. The, the same thing, you, you're going around speaking in tongues, but you can't speak to your neighbor in English. All right. All right. All right. Okay. What you need to do is just shut up and sit down somewhere. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Because what you're doing is not motivated by love. Yeah. Amen. Listen, and, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, listen, because because I have this this great wisdom, it's kind of like help me, Lord Jesus, because it, you know, as as adults, we, we could be in danger of this one right here. Uh, because we have some wisdom under our belt, uh-huh. because we have experienced some things in life. And we want to transfer them and share them with, with our children, with younger people, people who are who coming up maybe a step behind us. Yeah. You know, listen. But if we don't share that in love, mm-hmm. right, right. 
you may as well go and sit down and shut up. Uh -huh. <laughs> because, it's, it's, because what I have learned, and it's been a hard lesson to learn, is that rules without relationship All will right. always equal rebellion. All right. All right. That's good. You know, until you have a relationship that's genuine with that person, mm -hmm. they can't hear a word that you're saying. So, so, so he says mysteries, and if I got all this faith that I could, I could move, remove mountains, but I have love, I am nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing. And though I bestow goods, you know, to feed the poor, though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Right. Now check this out. So he's saying this. So you, you, you go around just, just, just giving money away, uh, trying to help the needy, and whatever the case may be. This is going to be deep, deep because, you know, Halle Berry uh, had convinced me that, you know, love should have brought you home. Well, what is this? And so, uh, and so what, what happens in this situation is, is that it's implied that it's a demonstration because you did something Come on. that you love me. All right. And that is not necessarily true. Uh -huh. Because, because... Because the text is telling us right here, it, you know, you know, because you did that, does that mean that you have love in your heart? That's true. Right. 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 I, I, we're going to leave it this because, because it, it's been a school of thought of ours in the past. Because this person did this for me, that means they love me. Come on. Mm. Well, 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 the text is kind of saying something different there. Can y'all see that? Because, yeah. because, because you gave to the poor, yeah. right. because you did this. And have not love. That indicates that, that you could do something and not really. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's true. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're getting. We're going to dig this love thing because we're, we're we're getting somewhere because it implies something that that many of us I think have missed over over time. That just because just because I did for you or they did for you does not necessarily mean they love you. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Because you could have done it for a selfish gain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, uh, you know. It's like you know, <laughs> the owner of the Lakers saying, you know, LeBron, I'll pay you all this money because I love you. Yeah. I don't know about all that. <laughs> you gonna gain something out of it, right. and if you didn't gain something out of it, would you still pay him all the money? That's yeah. 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 Ah, we're on to something here. So the indication then, Sprout, is the fact that, that would you do it if you weren't going to get anything in return? All right. Mm -hmm. When we begin to look at it from that perspective, love looks totally different. Now listen, yeah, listen, yeah. listen, listen. So we understand that God is love. Now, now go to Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. And I, I just hear you. Did you just tell her you love her? Uh, Jerry, I thought you told her you love her. She starts smiling and everything. Yeah. All. As I say, <laughs> I'll mess with you, dog. The, the Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. You know, um, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Uh, but God demonstrated his love toward us in that while we were still sinners, yeah. Christ died for us. Amen. Now, this is where it, it gets a little, and if you look at the scripture carefully, we see love demonstrated. However, the demonstration is not the love. We see love demonstrated. However, demonstration is not the love. Here's what love is. Love is the motivation behind the demonstration. Mm -hmm. All right. Love is the motivation behind the demonstration. Love is the why behind the what. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Go to Matthew chapter 22. And then I'm going to come back here. So 
So, you know, so if he's telling you he loves you, and you're, you're, you're validating that because he got your nails done. <laughs> Y'all like that. He, he, paid, he paid for you to get your hair. <laughs> Just because he paid for your weed does not mean he loves you. It's the motivation behind what they, what we do, and the why behind what we do. Really, uh, go to Matthew chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-four, and I'm reading. You there? But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. Now let me say, table is one up. Um, uh, Jesus had been in a confrontation and he had silenced these folk. And so somebody said, stepped up and said, well, listen, I got it. I got it. I'll, I'll get it. I, I, I'll fix it. Let me, let me handle it. Thinking they're going to come up on Jesus and just put him to shame. And so he says in verse 35, then one of them, a lawyer, a lawyer. Now, a lawyer is not, not what we think of a lawyer today. Uh, a lawyer is the one who knows the law. Right. knows the law. And the law was like the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch, the Mosaic Law is called, you know, the, the Ten Commandments. They took the Ten Commandments and then they developed from the Ten Commandments other laws underneath that. I mean, it had almost got to the point where I think it's over 2,000 laws that they had, you know, put to a person. You couldn't take so many steps on a certain, on, on the Sabbath. You couldn't do, you know, I mean, it, it got so deep. And, and these people just sat around and they studied the law and they knew the law very well, and they were called lawyers. So then one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him. So Jesus, we're going to give you a pop quiz. Testing him and saying, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replies, said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great, uh, great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And this is where it gets really deep. On verse 40. On these two commandments hang all the law and the, pro and, and the prophets. Get this. In essence, what, what, what this scripture tells us, Sister Smith, is that, that Jesus says, okay, you got all these laws over here. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about any of them. Just worry about these two. Because if you worry about these two and take and handle these two, all the rest of them will be taken care of. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's good. And it's the law of love. Now, 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 now let's, let's get deep. Let me, let me explain to you how this looks. Uh, you come in for tests, and you have an option to take a one, two test. You have test one that has a thousand questions or test two that only has two questions on it. And the only grade is there for you is either pass or fail. And so what he's saying is, hey, look here, listen, you can take that test or you can take this test. Which one do you want to take? Well, obviously, hey, I would say give me the two question test. I think I got a better shot at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that can get you to say, okay, let, your phone has been ringing off the hook and you have stopped answering it because you know it's the uh, it's your car uh, company calling you because you're behind on payments. Hmm. Listen, so you just stop answering because you know you, you're so deep, you know, you've been parking your car, you know, <laughs> in somebody else's driveway and, you know, put it in the garage and, you know, you know. <laughs> Trying to park in between cars so they can't come because you know you're that far behind on your payments, and 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 so you, you get you, you get really deep in it. You know you're six seven payments behind, and you know you know any day now I'm walking, um, and so and so and so they call you and they say, hey, I tell you what, listen, if you just make this payment, one payment will clear all the other ones out. Now you you scratching the head. What the text is telling us, is, telling us is that, listen, if you really get this love piece down, love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, mm -hmm. and love your neighbor as yourself, the rest will take care of itself. Yeah, yeah. Now, listen, now, now get this, get this. 
But it's really interesting that, that, that Jesus says, love God. Now, isn't that interesting that he says, love God, that he, he commands us to love him? Then you go into scripture, Sean, you dig deeper, and it says that God created us, created us in his own image. So it is in our DNA, in our makeup, the desire to be loved. All right. No way to get around. You, know, you, can, you can walk around saying, I don't need you. It's not in our makeup. God created us to be loved. So, yeah. Love God with all your heart, your mind, your soul. And then he, then he says, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. So then the indication is that I cannot love you more than I love myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, help me right there. All right, all right. Then, let, 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 listen, so, 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 you know, so, so when someone then says, Man, I love you more than I love me, that is a lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, you, you, you may have a genuine love for them, but you know what? One of the best things that you could want for somebody is to have a, a healthy love for themselves. Yes. Right. Yes. I have to often uh, correct myself, you know, when I, when I make uh, discouraging comments to myself. You know, like when you make a mistake, you say, you're such an idiot. What do you do? That, there's, I might get too deep for y'all, because, because there's an indication there that there's something about you that you don't like, and you don't love about yourself. And you, we, I need to peel that back, because the reality of it is that, that if I don't figure that out, it's eventually going to be inflicted on you. All right, that's right. Oh, y'all. Y'all are hating the pastor right now. Huh? Y'all are y'all have to pay $150 an hour to get this normally someplace else. You know? <laughs> I'll give it to you. For 10%. Right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm still a Baptist preacher. Huh? Um. So, so, so there, there's an indication. So I have to come to groups and love myself. Learn to love myself. Learn to love yourself. Learn to love yourself. Encourage someone else to love themselves. Because if they don't have a healthy love for themselves, yeah. if I don't have a healthy love for myself, maybe I really can't love you. That's right. That's right. Especially like God, if I can't forgive myself for what has happened or what I did, even though God has forgiven me, yeah. the problem is then I can't forgive you. Yeah, that's right. Then I can't love you like God wants me to love you. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, so, let's look at what Paul talks about love in 1 Corinthians and he says, back to our, our scripture, verse 4, love suffers long, love is kind, love does not envy, love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Real quick. Love suffers suffer long. Suffers long. Listen. When, love, when it says love suffers long, love puts up with inadequacies. Mm -hmm. All right. Love puts up with, with, uh, with other shortcomings. Yeah. That's what it does. Love, 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 uh, love, love puts up. Something, I know uh, we be convicted of it here today. Y'all keep looking at me. Yeah, okay, listen, 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 listen. Love puts up with other shortcomings. Um, you know, um, but, but I got to go with this and, and, uh, and use the self-restraint. You know, it it's not all on you. It's not jumping all over you because you made a mistake or, you know, now you, you know how you is. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, love puts up, love, love, love puts up with another person's shortcomings. Because what happens is when we, when, we, when we look at it, what it's designed to do is designed for me to look at the word of God and then don't use the other person as my measuring rod, use God as my measuring yeah. rod. Yeah. 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 So what happens is because he loves me, he has put up with my inadequacies. Yeah. 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 Because he loves me. No, 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 
And if you notice in that text, when it says, uh, love, is, is, uh, love suffers long and is kind. Yeah. And is kind. And is kind. And is kind. Those two kind of go together. What it's saying is, while you're putting up with my shortcomings, mm -hmm. you're still kind. Yeah. Amen. I know some of us need to repent right there because yeah. you know just because just because you say you're putting up with them and you're still ugly and rude with them mm -hmm. while you're putting up with them, yeah. that's not love. Mm -hmm. Because the text says, love is long suffering and kind. Yeah. And kind. So you know, listen, just, you know, listen, listen, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, it's kinda like when I was little and, and I did something wrong and, and, and you know, and my mama let me know about it and she dragged me back and forth and yelling, yo, listen, listen, listen. Got me up here embarrassing myself, maybe. <laughs> but but as adults we've got to be careful because what, what the text is saying is that, you know, love is long suffering, it's, it suffers with you with, with, with your shortcomings. You know, you don't have to like them. But you're not mean about it while you're going through it with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While, 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 you know, while, while you're dealing with them, you're kind still. Hmm. So love, uh, long suffering, and kind. Uh, it says love does not does not envy. Does not envy. Uh, listen. See, if love does not envy, that means it rejoices in the success of others. That's right. Amen. I'm happy for you. Yeah. I'm happy that that, 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 that that you got that job. I'm happy that you got that promotion. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's not that false happy. Right, right. Amen. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's right. You're, you're not false happy, right? You know, you know, yeah, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, it's not that false because that genuine happiness. I'm really excited for yeah. you, you know, that, you know, because, because there are those people, there are those people who really are happier when you fail Come on. than when you I, 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 I knew it wasn't gonna work out, you know, you know, you know listen, listen, you know, listen, 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 I tell you, I always tell people, you know, if you wanna know who the person is not happy, walk in the room, share your good news, and the one who's not smiling, that's the one. All right. that's, that's real. That's just real. You know, you, 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 don't, don't be so excited and share your joy you know, you know, that you'll look around the room and see who's not as happy Come as yeah, that's yeah. Right. There's some, there, there, there are some that there's going to be a person in the room that. Yes, sir. Can we go cut the cake? Come on. Come on. Tell the truth. I mean, realistic. You know, because here's the danger. I didn't mean to teach this way. But here's the danger with that. What happens is then, Joel, what happens is what we'll start doing is we'll start sharing with that person our personal dreams, Come our on. goals, and you know, and then what they'll do, they're shooting you down. Teach. Right. Right. Developing that negative spirit in you, and you up here thinking that that they love you. Yes. When they really don't, because love is not in me. That's right. That's good. You know, you know, love, that's just not it. You know, love it, love funny. And you know, and one of the things that that I'm just, 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 I don't understand. With those people that are connected to you, who are connected to us, who want to see us fail. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you talking? Yeah. I mean, come on. Can, 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 can I pull over right here and, yeah. and, and, and make you really mad? No. You know, you know, listen, listen, listen. Why would you want to be in a car? With somebody who's driving and want to see them wreck. Come on, yeah. talk. Yeah. I mean, we, we, do, we do it our children, whatever they you know, I'm going to let them go and wreck that thing. Well, you do want to see you riding with them, right? Right. That's right. That's right. That's true. Love does not envy, it does not parade itself. Okay, when it says it does not parade itself, it means I will praise others and limit my own praise. You know, uh, yes. Love is okay being anonymous. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay with their name not being called out. Yeah. Right. It's okay not being the person's name on the program. Right. right. I mean, real, real love. You know, listen, listen. That, you know, that, I, I don't want to keep uh, staying on this topic, but that's what I was so impressed with, and I believe God honored with us on yesterday because everybody just got in mm -hmm. and just shared the love. Yeah. It, it, we demonstrated the love. Yeah. That's right. Did y'all get that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and nobody's name on the program. That's right. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Now listen, it doesn't brag about its accomplishments. You know, doesn't have that false humility, you know. Uh, doesn't want to put the spotlight on itself. It operates in humility. It operates yeah. in humility. Humility. We've shared this a number of times, but you need to write this down if you ever heard this. You know, you know, humility, humility is not thinking less of myself. It's thinking of myself less. Humility is not thinking less of myself. It's thinking of myself less. You know, you know, this is this, 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 this is a harsh reality that 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 you know. Um, Stu, if you're on your way home, um, and you know that Karen's there, and and there's not going to be any food there when you get there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you pick you up a two-piece dart. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't give out biscuits on Tuesday. You know? <laughs> if you pick it up for yourself yeah. and don't at least think of her. That's right. So 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 my love for you know and listen and and and, 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 and at one time or another we've all got it wrong. That's right, that's right. It, it's not about that. But when we become to know better, we ought to yes. so, 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 so what, what this is then is that that it doesn't throw itself as it's, it's, it's not put the, I don't put the spotlight on myself. Right. You know, because then, you know you get you get a you get a two piece for her and then you want to let her know. Didn't I bring you some chicken? <laughs> All right. I see. Yeah. You know, you know, and you know she wants a jalapeno too. But what it's saying, the text saying is that we don't put the spotlight on our on what we've done, our, our, our accomplishments. Love is not puffed up. All right. Uh, you know, listen, listen. When love is puffed up, what it's saying is that that you know, you're so full of yourself. We're so full of ourselves that we can't see the pain of other people. That's right, that's right. I mean, you're so full of, you, you, you know, listen, you, you know, listen, I'm, I'm so concerned about, you know, what I want that I can't see how this is affecting the rest of the country. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I, you know, you know, I'm so high on me, I look down on you. Mm. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, this is this is convicting because I, I was reading this, I was like, Lord, you were just 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 ripping me apart on this mm. on, on, on this. Love is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. Love does not behave rudely. Everyone is valuable. Amen. Right. Love does not give you the right to get mad at the cashier and cuss her out. Mm. All right. To make rude comments such as, you know, I understand why you work here now. Mm. <laughs> to think to yourself, I understand why they work there now. Mm. Right. That's good. That's good. That's right. Because as a man thinketh, so yes. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus. Yes. He doesn't behave, behave rudely. You know, here, here, here's a, I'm gonna give you a quick self test. I know I've been going longer than I wanted to go. A quick self test. If you work, do you know what your boss's name is? <laughs> you may know your boss's name, you know maybe their spouse's name, and how many children they have. But do you know the person's name who cleans the restroom at the building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. that's good. Oh yeah. Do you know their children's name? Mm -hmm. Or 
or do you see them as less valuable than your boss? Mm. Oh, Jesus. That's good. Tight here. That's good. Because you know what? Because when when I look down on them, it's an indication about something about mm. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like they cannot do something for me. Mm. Love does not behave rudely. Right. Love does not seek its own. Genuine love often neglects its own for the sake of others. It prefers the welfare of others before itself. It is self-sacrificing. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I didn't understand this one until, until uh, uh, I became a parent and, and, and really had a chance to look back over life. You know, one of the most difficult things to do is to look at life from the position that you're in. Sometimes you have to look back and see it from a different perspective, step out of it. Yeah. You know, uh, when I was a, a, a little boy, I uh, must have been about maybe nine or 10 or so, uh, I had my oldest sister and oldest brother. Um, they were going to the community college in San Antonio, uh, San Antonio College. Uh, and it was a good piece from our house. Uh, it was in Dallas toward downtown San Antonio, and he said, take the bus to get to school. And i never forget, my uh, brother and my sister, uh, my brother in particular, but my sister also, uh, they said, well, hey, we're just gonna drop out of school, but I'm, I'm trying to get on this bus and go to school. It's your life, do what you wanna do. You know, that's, that's my thought process, you know. Uh, and my father was so broken by it that my bro father said, I tell you what, Y'all take my car, drive to school, I'm going to walk to work. Mm. And my father would walk about maybe three, three and a half, four miles each way to work. He would walk to work so they could. That's it. I didn't understand that sacrifice until I became a father. Yeah, yeah. I love you. I don't know if I'm going to walk to work today. I'm going to tell you. 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 Just tell you the rest of it. This is what we believe. It's been too long. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. You might want to highlight this in your Bible. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 says, You're ready? Take your time and find it. If you haven't found it, go to the table of contents and find it. We want you to be there with us. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. What that means is there should be no hidden agendas. Right. Amen. No hidden agendas behind what I'm doing. Right. I'm doing it regardless of how you respond. Mm -hmm. okay. But in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. This is one that, that that can get us, Richard, because you know, you know, uh, I gotta be careful that what I'm doing, I'm not doing uh, to make me look good. Now it may benefit you, but it can't be about the fact that I, it's gonna make me look good also. Mm -hmm. That may be a byproduct, but it cannot be any part of the equation. Right, right, right. You know. Uh, you know, uh, uh, for example, you might, you know, you, you somebody lets you borrow something from them, and you, you know, and you took return it to them, and it's not in the same condition that you borrowed it. Mm -hmm. And then you come back and say, well, listen, they let you know about it. You said, well, listen, I'll pay for it because I want to be in a position to ask you to borrow it again. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, no, but how you handle it is, 
I'm going to pay for it regardless because it's the right thing to do. That's so right. if you let me borrow it again, this has nothing to do with it. That's right. That's right. But oftentimes, our mindset is, is, you know, listen, I'm going to do this only because I, can, I may need you in the future. All right. Amen. Let's keep going. Love does not seek its own. Love does not provoke. What, what that means real quick, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, it's not hot-headed. It's not good. You know, if, 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 if folk tell you all the time you keep tripping, going off about little stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. love does not provoke. Love does not think, uh, thinks no evil. What that basically means is that, that, that it looks for the best and not the worst in the situation and in people. Right. You know, evil is, is, is not, not the go-to, not the go-to. Just because, just because uh, his pants are sagging below his, his, his waist and you can see his flannel underwear does not mean that he's about to rob you. Right. Amen. <laughs> because there were some people who had um, um, uh, suits on, wh uh, white shirts, and, and nice silk ties and took all of Enron's money. Keep going. Right. Uh, just because, 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 uh, number two, uh, 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 love does not rejoice in iniquity. It, it takes no pleasure in hurting others. Listen, love hates the sin, but hates the sinner, basically. Listen, listen. It does not gossip or publish the news of someone else's shame. You know, and, 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 and Sister Gibson, we do that in such a sanctified way, you know. You know we, want, we want to let you know about somebody, what, what they're going through, they're struggling, Joe. You know, you know. <clears throat> Listen, won't you just pray for them? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I, hey, hey, Reg, I don't know if you heard, but, but please keep feeling prayer. Mm. Oh, Reg wants to know. What am I praying for? <laughs> well, you know, you know, Bill is struggling with. It does not publish and try to bring out a person's shame. That's not love. That's right. And so we, you know, and, 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 and at any time, come on now, but listen, any time, any one of us could have been guilty of it because, because Jarvis, you know, listen, listen, you know, we really want to know the gossip. <laughs> It's the fact that we don't need to know it Amen. because it draws us away from God instead of toward God. Yeah, yeah. So, so love does not rejoice in the iniquity. Love rejoices in the truth. You know, it, 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 the, the gospel of God's word says, love bears all things. Uh -huh. bears all things. It, it, it covers. It covers or shields a roof to protect. Listen, so... So when a person is hurting, when a person has, has, has some type of shameful situation in their life, they spend more time, love spends more time trying to cover them than to uncover them. Does that, that make sense? Yes. I, I mean, that, that makes sense. You know, if, if, if you really love the person, you're not trying to expose them. Right. You're trying to cover them. Yes. You know, you know, you know, love bears all things. Love believes all things. You know what's that? Listen, while it's not being naive, it hopes with reason the best for everybody. That's what it means when it says that. Um, listen, love hopes all things. When it says love hopes all things, that means he said that, listen, that, that the person's failure is not their final. All right. So though, though they fail, though I fail, though I made a mistake, you know, love looks back and says, I hope the best for them, and I know that they can come back from this situation. Right. You know, they, they, love, doesn't, uh, uh, love doesn't say, well, you know what, listen, oh, man, that happened. Oh, their life is over with. <laughs> man, I, listen, I knew somebody else who dealt with that, and oh, love hopes all things. Love endures all things. Um, it, it stays in the fight. Uh, love never fails. What it basically then says is that love has no escape clause. Now, if you say you love me, if you say you love me, with the love that the scripture is talking about, that gives you no way out. That's what we call really ride or die. All right. I mean, if, if, if you really love, you know, you know, <clears throat> you know if, if you love a person, you know, you know, it's kind of like, man, I've had, let me tell you, 
I've had people, uh, especially since I've been pastor, that uh, I've learned a lot of people are, are interesting. <laughs> and especially people of Ebony Heath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, you, know, you know, they'll tell you how much, I got these people will tell you how much they love you. And, and listen, listen, Doc, I'm here with you. Listen, if you ever need me, yeah, you, know, yeah. you just call me. Listen. And so you call them. <laughs> hey, look, yeah, I, got, I got this little dilemma right now. Oh, bro, I got you. Don't worry. Listen, just, t just call me back and tell me the details, what you need me to do, and we got you. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I said, cool. Man, I'm, I'm glad that's off my, my chest. I got, okay, now the details, let me, let me call them back. I know that phone rang two times in the voice band. Y'all right. know it's supposed to be at least four or five times. It was two times in the voice band. And then, and then you follow up with a text, you know, and. Mm -hmm. No response. All right. All right. Now, now listen, listen. That's not a demonstration of love. Right. Listen, listen. Even if you can't help me, you should still pick the phone up and say, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's it. That's it. Come on, Robert. That's it. That's enough.